Hello my friends, Ghostian3 here. Today I'm going to be showing you the 12 Survivors Mini First Aid Roll-Up Kit. This is the mini one, there's a big brother to it. And uh, I added this and we'll go into that and I'll give you all the specs here. This is the box it's going to come in with, or inside of it. And uh, I'm going to hold the back of the specs here so you guys could um, freeze up your uh, video and read all the contents. I'm going to go through everything. Well, I am, but I mean, I'm not going to read this whole thing off to you, but 12 Survivors uh, is a company, kind of an outdoor company, and they make uh, tents, some backpacks, and uh, this first aid kit, which I like. And this is all it comes with here, and it's basically a lot of stuff, 72 pieces, uh, including the bag. And it doesn't seem like it, but it does. And here are the specs, and uh, so you could see that. So the Big Brother is just a little bit longer. So anyways, let's get to the, the little uh, roll-up kit. Comes in saying 12 survivors. The Big Brother one has 12 survivors in a patch with Velcro right here. And then you take it off and you can put like where it says first aid if you buy a kit. I mean a, a patch, I'm sorry, because it doesn't come with one. This I decided to put on my own uh, because I figured, you know what? Somebody sees it, they don't know the outdoor stuff then anyone can tell, wow, this is first aid kit. It's pretty much universal in different colors, but you know, hey, if they think it's spiritual bag or something, <laughs> I guess it'll help you too. <laughs> You're injured, it's not a bad thing, right? But we know this is pretty much universal first aid. That's what that means. Here's these two buckles here, and uh, you got a grab handle, so that's pretty cool. And here's the inside, and I'll be showing you that. Here's some molly webbing, I'm gonna, we'll be talking about that. And even here, so you can go horizontal or vertical on your on your backpack or day pack or whatever has molly you can attach it this way horizontally or you can attach it vertically if you want to save some space or however you want it on your pack or or just throw it in your car um, this is pretty light like i said you guys saw the specs 11.3 ounces i am going to add a couple more things to this as much as i can um, i should have gotten the bigger one but i wasn't paying attention <laughs> whatever that day I ended up with a mini one i didn't know there was a mini one but i am pretty happy with it so like I said, it's well, well built. It's really strong. It's that 600D nylon, and uh, it's just good, strong Velcro too, by the way. So let's get to the inside. So these clips, they're really uh, they're pretty strong. I mean, it's some kind of plastic. I couldn't tell you what, but they're <coughs> uh, buckles, obviously. And uh, here's the Velcro. As you can tell, there's a one-inch wide strip, and it just goes on this part and look how much furniture you got right here all this space right here so I added this here but let me take this off because it didn't come with it normally would we'll get to these straps right here too that could come with it so normally you have this big big space and the way it was rolled up when I got it it's pretty much taking the whole thing like this and I was wondering hey you know what I want to add a patch so all you do is you can back it up like this, still have plenty of space to put your name or whatever you want in, like I did, that patch right there. So that's kind of to use different colors. This doesn't come with it, by the way, just something I had. So, all right, so let's get to it. This has seven pockets. This is one long one right here, as you can tell. We're going to go through everything that's in it. Your shorter ones, all zippered and see-through mesh. And so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the bigger one rolls out more. You could actually put a lot more stuff in it, and it does come with uh, first aid stuff in there, your basic stuff. So if any of you are wondering, can you order it without it? As far as I see, no. Uh, in the stores and on the website, it comes with everything in it already. You can replace stuff or add on like I'm going to do. And uh, like, for example, <clears throat> I'll keep this short, but this little case right here that I bought at REI a long time ago, Labeled it. I got some ibuprofen I'm going to keep in there. So uh, right now I'm just going to show you the basics that come in. Also I'm going to be putting some of these. Uh, basically these are for like dry eyes or contacts or whatever. And they even have a, a expiration dates and stuff that you can buy. Well, I'll be doing a review on these uh, for other reasons and you'll see. But they're flat enough that they can go in some of these pockets. Because you obviously don't want to overload it. It's not meant for that. So anyways here are the two straps. Molly straps that it comes with. They're pretty strong. I mean they're well built. Flexible right here as you can tell so it's not just one big two hard pieces and you got a, <clears throat> a clasp right here and 
I didn't even realize it came with these when I first got it, so I thought that was pretty cool. So let me close this up and I'll show you real quick. So basically, here you have your horizontal one, so if you want to carry it vertical, you know, depending on your pack and how you want it and how it's going to fit, then you can do that too. It's just kind of your own option, but I thought that was pretty cool. I saw a picture of one guy, he had his uh, on, rolled up on his... Uh, by his handlebars on his motorcycle so that was pretty creative right there so there you go see so you have your straps and you strap it in you can strap it in horizontally uh, and of course with the buckles on or you can go this way and i'm just shoving these in real quick it's we all know how pretty much how to do it just just want to show you let's keep it that middle one but i would actually use all all of it so there you go so here's your mollies again and then you could attach it <laughs> upside down. You could attach it upside right, actually. So that's just to show you. But these two straps actually do come with it. I believe it comes with a larger one, too. I'm not 100% sure, but don't quote me, but I think it does. All right, so let's get back to the inside. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to, you could put a carabiner right here, put it on your pack. You could actually stick a carabiner right here because I was playing with that notion. And it's, it's, this is not going anywhere. I mean, this is not going to tear and attach that to your pack if you want to just go quick, quick and easy. So you got all kinds of uh, options, and I like that. Okay. So and this is what it looks like when it's open on the outside. So you get a good view. And here's the only place Velcro on the outside, the, the smooth stuff. And here's the Velcro I showed you lengthwise only on the inside. These red tabs, if you're wondering. You could use your uh, marker and write on these. And by the way, if you needed to get spare, you lost one, or, or maybe you messed it up and you want to change a name on it, you can go to like Home Depot or other places and buy this Velcro in red. It comes off. Look. Basically, it's like a name tag. See that? So you don't even have to use them, but it's kind of cool. They're for labels, so you could write on here, say, bandages or, or tape or something, and then put it here and cut up to your whatever length you want or the length that it comes with. Is a shorter one so it's nice and big and red so kind of makes focuses takes your eyes right there to the point or if someone doesn't know your first aid kit all right so let's go through this so right here and this one and i didn't label it because it's still new and i just wanted you guys to see it because i'm going to be adding all kinds of stuff and moving stuff around so here you have bandages your knuckle kind uh, for the knuckle the band kind of look like a butterfly some smaller ones so uh, the bandages, it says 20 adhesive bandages, 1 inch by 3 inch, and 20 adhesive bandages, 1.5 inch by 4 inch. So you got different sizes and uh, 2.4 and 4 inch and 3 inch. So you have different kinds. So that's pretty cool. And you have these right here. And this sticks. This is soft on one side. So that's what comes in that one. This is basically your, your, just a basic first aid kit, my friends. This is, you know, I have one filled with all kinds of stuff. You can add whatever you want, but just remember that. This is your, you're not putting the kitchen sink in this thing. Um, although I'm going to try it a little bit here and there. <laughs> all right, so in this pouch right here, in this little zipper compartment, here you have your elastic bandage, 5 by 450 centimeters. So that's pretty cool. This one didn't come in a little plastic. And it came with paper around here, but it's basically cloth. So it's another kind of bandage, and you could wrap it around. So I just put the rubber band around it uh, because I actually cut open this paper cloth. I thought it was like a mini toilet paper, and uh, <laughs> which that's a thought, huh? And uh, so the inside is just basically gauze, so you could wrap around an arm or finger or whatever. So that's what comes in this one. Then you have this small slanted short one. And this has gloves. One pair of rubber large size gloves. I'm gonna add a couple more. Mini tape for minor quick uses. Like I said, if I was going backpacking deep like I normally, three days or something more, I'm taking my bigger first aid kit. <laughs> but hey, depending on how many people are in your group, you'll take more or less. So, but this is kind of cool for the car or something quick, a little day pack for a day hike. This pocket over here, they ended up putting the same thing, another pair of gloves, you have two, which I think you, should, I'll just put in one, and it comes in, the same thing came with some um, tweezers, so it comes with this little thing right here to hold it, 
not the best tweezers, you know, but for, hey, they get the job done. You, you can tell, watch. So they'll get the job done. So not bad. All right. And by the way, this thing cost about 30, 35, something like that. All right. And I think the big one costs uh, 40 or no, I think it's $49. All right. Let's see what's in this one. So you have some gauze patches, sterile gauze pad, and two of them for this size. And then you have the same ones, but smaller, two inch by two inch, big ply. So these aren't suits in the back. So let's put in that pocket. And also what came in that pocket, I'll show you. Which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, in color, quick to the point, especially if somebody's not used to giving first aid or you know, they're panicking. I've seen plenty of people do that. So kind of a first aid instruction card. And here you go. Stop massive bleeding. Unblock air passage. Indirect heart massage and artificial respiration. And recovery position. So just the quick one. Find out what happened. Call for help. Take care of your own safety. So this is not meant to be something that's going to give you a study guide. It's just quick. And on the back, it gives you everything from... Uh, things to look at real quick knowing that you're you know not some expert uh, bleeding unconscious shock spinal injury abdominal injury um, head injury fractures electrical injury burns so that's pretty cool so I would make a photocopy of this you know in color and keep extra in case it uh start in time it starts to deteriorate or something like that or you accidentally rip it all right now let's look at this one now, on this one just one big thing, and they pretty much put an emergency rescue blanket. But we all know it's like a space blanket, you know, to help with hypothermia, shock, keep patient warm, dry, so you can wrap someone in this. So that's pretty cool. So that goes in this one. You could fit in a little bit more in each one. It just depends how you want to organize it. And this is the long one, one zipper here. And what comes in this one long one is antiseptic cleaning wipes. So. That's cool. Every now and then you got to check these because even in my other first aid kit, you don't use them because you haven't had a use to use them. Four, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Then they dry up and you don't even know it. But when you need them, that's when you're going to find that they're dry. So I might put a small little bottle of rubbing alcohol in there. Anyways, so this is the, the 12 Survivors Mini First Aid Roll-Up Kit. And uh, their website's www. And I'll put it in the... A link to it uh, 12 spelled out number in numerical numbers uh one two survivors.com that's it's right here and i'm babbling away let's see there we go right by my thumb so anyways i thought i'd show you guys this i thought this is really cool i like it and uh i may get the bigger one i'm not sure yet so but for now um great little uh mini pack you can have you can put it on your bicycle your pack you know i go mountain biking all that kind of stuff so you know, I have a little mini, mini first aid kit, but this kind of gives you an option, you know, to roll up. And then that's how you close it. The Velcro is really, really strong, and I like that. I don't like this weak Velcro on things. The clips are really strong. They're pretty easy to go in and out. But that Velcro holds everything in really good. So, and like I said, there's your carry handle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have this or are interested, let me know. Or if you guys have to put different stuff on yours, I'd like to... Hey, tell me, or if you have a video so I can check yours out. Also gives me ideas to put stuff in mine or take out stuff. So there you go, my friends. Enjoy, take care, click on the like button. God bless.